Uh, so it's 3.22 p.m. Oh, my camera is right over there. Right there. Um, oh, yeah, Sunday, 6th August. Oh, look, the curtains have been removed because uh, oh, this handyman came here to, to sort of fix the windows. He sprayed some kind of thing. And I, could, I haven't been sleeping in my room for the past two days. I've been sleeping in the my mom's room. Um, and mom's been sleeping on the couch. Uh, because um, there's this awful smell that's giving me a headache. And uh, so, you know, so the curtain is not there. Otherwise, that's why the bluish tinge thing. Anyway, yes, I'm waiting for my veggies to, to calm down, no, cool down, <laughs> calm down. Um, so, I've got to go to the uh, electrolysis tomorrow. Is, my, is, this, is this long enough? Like these days, it doesn't grow that much. See? I'm like, come on, stupid hair, grow. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I gotta go. I have to be there at one three hour appointment it's good to do it we, we you know it's good to do it <sighs> at least once a month for now um, so I wanted to talk about um, how my psychology has changed since I started medically transitioning about three years ago a little over three years and um, I can say one of the most uh, significant effects or changes to my psychology is um, is the uh, is how I'm incredibly emotional. <laughs> I am so emotional. Like I've cried so many times over so many things. Like all these, it's like not only just the crying. It's just the mood moods go up and down, and um, and I'm like so interested in the whole how human beings relate to one another like before i transitioned i couldn't give a damn about social interaction i couldn't i couldn't care less i was mostly interested in philosophy and you know all of those abstract kind of things but after transitioning i was like i am well <laughs> i'm so interested in in, in like how do you relate to people and it's like like those kinds of like social stuff is much more in, important to me and uh, like like I feel like I understand things now about people like I did not understand before like uh, before you know if I would interact with people I'd be like I have no idea why my uh, my interaction and understanding of people would be very superficial on a, on a surface level but now, I feel like, I mean, it's not, it's not like I was a superficial person. I did have quite deep views and all of that. But I, I never really bonded with people on a more than a superficial level. But um, these days, it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know, I feel like I... Like so, I'm, I don't know. Maybe this is just a natural growth. Maybe I'm a late kind of development of my emotional brain or whatever. What it is, but th like these days, um, the whole human, the social stuff is like become so like significant and important to me. I don't know if that's a because of the estrogen or not. I don't know. The estrogen because I have the my hormone hormone levels are very high. My, I have like mood swings, incredible mood swings, like up and down. One, one more, I'll be so depressed. The next one, I'll be like, so I, 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 have, I have that every day. So that can create some kind of a thing in itself. Um, so, yeah, so, so I guess the, the, that's the thing is like, I'm much more emotionally conscious emotionally aware what i mean by emotional is like i'm much more in tune with other people's uh emotions or i don't know that that whole area is sort of <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's like um, I wouldn't say it's 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 refined. I would still say it's kind of uh, rough around the edges, sort of. But I feel like that's much more. Yeah, it's it's like a thing has been set off, like a switch or something, or 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 like a you know like a knob and like turning that thing, and it's like that that part of my life is sort of becoming more bigger, significant. Uh, no, when it comes to philosophy and stuff, I guess I don't know. I mean, I guess I would still be interested in it because my mind is kind of like that. But uh, definitely this more emotional side has definitely become much more of a feature of my psychology. Um, I guess the other thing would be like my libido is definitely <laughs> like not there. So um, I don't know if that really, so that sort of impacted my sexual orientation. I don't know if that really impacts my sexual orientation, but um, well, my sexual orientation has definitely sort of uh, shifted a bit like um i don't know it, it's 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 hard to just talk about it you have to have you have to interact with people to to really know um yeah well, yeah it's it definitely become much more fluid i would say I, I would say um yeah it's definitely become yeah anyway i think that that's the uh, uh, I'll just leave it at that. Um, so, I guess that's basically the most significant change to my psychology. I can personally uh, attest to it. I feel very self conscious now. Uh, um, is, is the whole emotional and this whole, like, how I'm much more aware of how people are or people's. Uh, that whole relational side to human interaction is like, I'm much more like aware of it, whereas I wasn't that uh, aware before. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, I, I feel uncomfortable talking about my sexuality. Oh, that's another thing, like, um, yeah, that, that's, I, I, like, you know, I realize, like, I've got a lot of, um, well, maybe that's why I was feeling uncomfortable. I've got a lot of, uh, um, negative views on sexuality, especially my, my own sexuality. I don't think I've allowed myself to actually, and my sexuality is different these days. It's not like a male sexuality, but it's not like a female sexuality either, you know, because I don't have the testosterone of a, of a male I, I do not have that and also like like I don't fought, like when I was a <laughs> when I you know before I medically transitioned I was more visual I mean people say this but it, 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 you have to actually experience it like the change yourself to know what that is like now these days I'm not saying I don't find people attractive or whatever I could still say oh this person's attractive or something like that but uh, like I wouldn't get, I won't get, uh, you know, sexually aroused. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just like, oh, that's an attractive person. Um, so, yeah, that might be a libido, libido issue, but um, definitely uh, when it comes to, like, uh, like, you no, know, I've I've neglected uh, this whole this whole area of my life. I've neglected so many areas of my life. But this whole area of sexuality, I've completely negated it and neglected it. I think it's because I grew up in this kind of um, environment where sex was like taboo and you know, you shouldn't talk about it, it's dirty and all of that. And that's sort of like how I sort of viewed it. So um, I still have problems, you know. So that's an area I'm sort of like try to open myself up to so I see I see videos on this topic and it's still incredibly uh, uh, tra traumatizing for me I don't know why why I have this trauma like if, if the idea of being vulnerable sexually it's like you know especially with another person it's like that the idea terrifies me 
it's like um, it, it has to it just makes me feel so vulnerable and exposed I just I just feel like I don't have the courage to be sexually vulnerable with another human being maybe that's why you know I don't I didn't have a lot of relationships in that area um, oh I don't know maybe it was where I grew up at the opportunities or whatever it was but yeah the idea of I was just sitting like the yesterday I was just thinking about it. the idea of actually being sexually vulnerable with another human being totally terrifies me it just makes me feel so naked <laughs> you know emotionally naked that I just I just I just feel so afraid and I uh, you know, I did. I, I don't know why I feel so afraid. It's like I feel like people are gonna hurt me or something. It's like, you know, I feel. Yeah, I feel like someone's gonna hurt me. And that terrifies me so much. Um. Anyway, so those are some thoughts. Uh, all right.